Now that we're outside, maybe you'd like to tell me what you said again. Slowly this time, so you could think about what you're saying. You're a small one to be taking this road all by yourself, dwarf. Maybe you've come looking for trouble. Unless you have a little coin to convince us otherwise. Nothing that concerns you. This is between us and the dwarf, and whatever coin he happens to have with him. Ah, you're welcome to try to take it if, you, if you're if you all game. You all can't be frightened of one little dwarf, can you? If you're afraid of being humiliated in front of the stranger here, well, now that's another matter. We're not frightened of either of you, and it seems to me you need to learn a lesson. This matter is between us and the dwarf here. It's none of your concern. Come on. Someone tried to hit me already. Even the newcomer here sees that you're all too afraid to do anything. All right, I've heard enough of this. Come on, boys. Let's deal with the dwarf and his new friend. Take that. We won't both walk away. <laughs> a good fight. A shame they had to resort to weapons, uh, but if they have to keep the odds even, can't blame them too much. Name's Kelgar, by the way, of the clan Iron Fist. I've been making my way along the coast for some time now, stopped in the willow here for a brief fight. Ha! Even the odds! They didn't stand a chance in the first place. Obviously, you haven't heard of me. So, tell me, what brings you out along the mare? Roads aren't exactly safe, you know, and they're getting worse all the time. Seems it's your lucky day, then. I happen to be traveling to Neverwinter as well. Now that's a tale. Oh, glad you asked. Uh, but I uh, can't discuss it without a tankard or two, I think. I say we step inside the Weeping Willow here and share our stories over a few of the innkeeper's best. So then I punched him in the face for asking. And while he was trying to pick his teeth off the floor, his friend decided to add a few choice words about my heritage. So I punched him too. So to make a long story short, I take pride in what I do, fighting. It's something you can't get enough of, and it's something where there's always room for improvement if you apply yourself, stay focused, and keep swinging. And that's why I'm headed to Neverwinter. I heard there's a house of monks there. A monastery, right? I heard they'll train anyone just for the asking. Couldn't ask for a better opportunity. Aye, that's the shot of it. Well, as it happens, I didn't always want to become a monk. What happened was that... It... The Kalacha find it. Well, look at this. Our next round of practice just arrived. Hmm. 
Follow me! Perhaps so. Yes! Hmm, what?
Yes. Hmm. What? Well now, I've had a good time so far. And the way you attract trouble. I haven't had this much fun since that tavern back at Bogan's Pass where I was using that trestle table as a battering ram. Oh, look, we're heading in the same direction and you seem to have more enemies than friends. What say we travel together? Might be able to teach each other a few things. Good. I'd be glad for the company and the conversation. And don't you worry about me keeping up. Kelgar Iron Fist carries his own weight. I won't be slowing you down. What, demon? No screams for us? <laughs> Maybe we should brand you. Maybe that'll loosen your tongue. Leave me alone! I've done nothing to you. Well, now Commander Valus will be happy to hear that he will. It means his work here is all done, 
He can just give up the fort and go home. Still, there's just the small matter of those bounties on bandits he posted. And a bandit with demon blood, well, there's no telling how much that's worth. Of course, you could tell us where your camp is. Valus will pay more for that, he will. And we won't even have to butcher the lot of you. I told you I'm not with those bandits. Or are you deaf and stupid? Stupid? Here we were, thinking about letting you live. Now you've gone and changed our minds. Hey, hold on. Looks like she's got friends, she does. This don't concern you. We're soldiers from Fort Locke, hunting bandits. That we are. Caught this demon trying to raid our camp, and we were about to deal with her. Nothing yet, but a crew's been out in these parts. They've been raiding merchants, caravans, maybe even killed the old commander. I told you I'm not with those bandits. Shut your lying mouth, demon. You'll get the blade soon enough. You think you're going to stop us, are you? You know, Valis might pay for three bandit bounties. He's not one for asking questions. Especially about a demon, a runty dwarf, and a dirty harbourman who doesn't know enough to keep walking! Runty dwarf? I know you cowards aren't talking to me, or you'll be talking to my fist next! Good enough for me. Let's kill them all and I'll sort out the tale later. I'll plant a blade in your gut! You're here! And look at all this blood! Sorry if I sounded surprised. It's just, you know, people don't usually help me out like that. Especially, um, well, people like you. <laughs> you know, nice looking people. Does that make me a damsel in distress? Oh, I hope not. I hate those women. Hey, you're nice! Sorry, I don't mean to sound so surprised. Well, actually, I am. I mean, it's just, well, unexpected. I mean, once folks catch sight of me, usually it's the horns, they run in the other direction. And all those tales about tieflings being cursed don't help much either. I'm Nishka, by the way. I'm really glad you came when you did. I wasn't really sure how I'd get out of that one. Of course, they never would have caught me in the first place if that invisibility potion I'd bought hadn't been watered down. If I ever see that merchant again... Well, I was actually trying to pass the fort by, make my way farther south. Well, I thought that potion I bought would help. You see, once the local garrison sees me, they tend to want to throw me in a cell or attack me on sight. Of course, the potion wears off right as I cross paths with those thugs from Fort Locke. They were looking for easy bounties, and I showed up right on time. It's been that way ever since the new fort commander posted bounties on bandits. Some of his soldiers have been hunting down anyone they find on the road and claiming they're bandits. It's just banditry of a different sort. They rob the travelers and then get the bounty too. The roads are even less safe now than they were before. Do you... Do you think I could join you? Just for now. I won't get in the way, I promise. It's just that I don't know how long I can survive on my own. And, well... I do owe you one. Can't say I trust her. Tieflings will stab you in the back and run off with your purse the moment you drop your guard. Yeah? 
Well, dwarves are squat, smelly drunks who'll chop someone in half just to show they're tough. Oh, is that so? Uh, why don't you step down here and say that again? He started it! Cah, leave her here. She'll be food for the other beasts on the road soon enough. Thanks. I won't let you down, I swear. I think those Fort Lock thugs have my gear locked away here. All done. Yes. Yes. Hmm. What? How can I help? Perhaps so. How can I help? Hmm, what?
My steel will strike true.
Time for a little fun! Need some special attention. Well, all done. attention. All done. We won't both walk away from this. <laughs>
How can I help? Hmm. What? Steel will strike true. Yes. 